So, we want to convert an image into a matrix and uh, what we want to do is that we take these blocks 8 by 8 blocks or L by L blocks and we want to convert uh, these into columns of a matrix. So, the C1, C2 -th block in an image corresponds to actually this is slightly incorrect. So, I will just rewrite this C1 uh, size of image 1 by L plus C 2 th the matrix this is the corresponding column of the matrix. So, now let us implement this or uh, let us try to convert this. So, let us save so clear all let us save an image as a matrix. So, I will first read Baboon and say B equals BG equals RGB to gray GRA by and this has converted it and so I get this. So, now what I do is equals size of BG. Uh, we can write a function as well, but uh, let us just write a script. SZ is the size of BG. So, so I will call this image as matrix and save. There is already a file by this name, yes. So, and SZ, so for C1 equals 1 to SZ1, for C2 is 1 to SZ2. Let me pick up an image or let me pick up a block. So, say block equals BG C1 minus 1 L plus 1 to C1 L comma C2 minus 1 L plus 1 to C2 L this. So, let me define L as, so in this case L is 8, run this, yes, so divided by L, this should also be divided by L and running, so this. So, this is an 8 by 8 unit. So, this could correspond to the last block of the image. So, if I look at the image BG and move to the last 8 by 8 block, which lies here. So, this is the last 8 by 8 block and this is the corresponding last 8 by 8 block saved by us. So, we get this as an image. Now, let us save this as a matrix. So, let us say x equals or this is a block. So, I want to save it as a column of a matrix. Say x equals reshape block comma L square comma 1. So, square brackets this reshapes this image into a column vector done and x c1 minus 1 times size 1 because there will be size 1 by l columns per so for each uh, run of c1 size 1 by l columns will be created size 1 by l plus C2 x this. So, I create a matrix x oh sorry my bad. So, this so 
so I clear x and run this again to run so I have created a matrix x that uh, that contains the columns of uh, the image so now the next thing we would want to do is restore this image so we would so as a first step now let us try to restore this let us try to restore this image and uh, what i'll do here is so there are multiple ways of doing this right now i'll go the, with the simplest so what we have done here is we have packed this image so let me use powerpoint here and let me state that converting image matrix taken blocks image and packed them into columns of a matrix. Now we would want to do the reverse that is take the columns of the matrix and unpack them into image blocks and unpack them into image, image blocks this is what uh, we would want to do so let us do this and uh, for this let us say let me copy this code because uh, we will have to run the entire length with this so this now let us say I define so this is the column of the matrix that I would want so this so I take the corresponding column of the matrix step 1 step 2 I convert it into a block so I convert it into a block so for that block equals block and x are temporary variables and step 3 I take bg2 so this is bg2 these entries of the image correspond to the block this and I run this and I create another bg2 so I am use I am show so I show BG this is BG and in a new figure I show the recreated image so I show this image you can see that these are two copies of the same image so say I want to uh, do or mess this up so what if I replace C1 with C2 or I transpose each block what happens then this is basically me transposing the blocks and because this is a square image so this will work so do this I get a transposition of the image but uh, this is not an exact transposition because the blocks are in their vertical positions or each block is in its usual positions but, but the block matrix is transposed so this is what I get so if I in case say I make L equals 16 I will get something fun smaller I make L so I have to clear X first that would be primary requirement so maybe this is done and now if I look at bg2 you get 
broader so blocks in the same orientation but uh, block sorted as a transpose if I make this 4 so you get uh, a better transposition of image anyway we did not want to do this so I will restore this there is a there is a lot more that you could do but this was just a indication of what we can do here or what uh, this little program is capable of doing with image obviously this is only limited by your creativity so we can exactly reproduce the image so now since we have reproduced the image and uh, we now have have blocks of the image as a column vector. We now have the blocks of the image as a column vector. So now what do we want to do? Since we have the blocks of the image as a column vector, let us construct a covariance or correlation matrix let us construct a correlation matrix so let us construct a correlation matrix so say let me define r equals x times x transpose run so is not fully supported for integer classes. So, we have a problem that uh, this is an integer. So, since everything is stored as u int 8, this matrix multiplication will become a problem. So, let me force these as, to, as doubles and yes, done. Now, we also have to scale this down by the number of columns. So, 1 by So, this gives me a covariance matrix and gh length. So, this gives me an r which is a correlation matrix. So, r is the correlation matrix. So, this is a 64 by 64 correlation matrix all white, all the values are too large. So, now let us look at the eigenvalues of r. So, say lambda are the eigenvalues of r. So, look at lambda and lambda is 95.7 to 2.88 into 9. So, these are the eigenvalues of r. So, this lambda represents the eigenvalues of r sorted in ascending order. So, so sorted in ascending order get the eigenvalues of r sorted in ascending order so let us look at the eigenvalues of r so Looking at the eigenvalues of R, we say that the smallest eigenvalue is close to 95.75 and the largest eigenvalue is close to 2.88 into 10 to the power 5. So, the smallest eigenvalue is close to 95. So, the condition number or the ratio of the largest to smallest eigenvalue is uh, close to 3000. So, the eigenvalues are imbalanced and let us look at the trace of R. So, 2.97, so lambda 64 by trace of r, sorry lambda 16 not lambda 64, oh so it is 4 by 4 that is why 0.97, 97% or let me make this 8 and then repeat this.
this and so this is the smallest eigenvalue is 57 and the largest eigenvalue is close to 10 to power 6. So, the discrepancy is even larger. So, 64 divided by trace of r the largest eigenvalue. So, 96.23. So, the largest eigenvalue is 96.23 percent of uh, the total of the trace of the covariance matrix. So, now let us uh, try to make some sense out of it. So, I will use some notions from information theory or I will use some ideas from information theory without uh, uh, referencing them properly. You can either take my word for it or uh, look at a course on information theory for proper description, but uh, the entropy of uh, will or the average content within random variable is proportional to its variance or actually log of its variance. So, log variance. We will not prove this here because uh, this is not the right place to prove this, but uh, the entropy of a random variable or the average information content within a random variable is proportional to its variance or the log of its variance. So, what happens physically? So, physically the column of x represents column of correlated represents a column of correlated random variables and eigenvalues and eigenvectors of x get r equals u lambda u Hermitian because r is the covariance matrix, this is a Hermitian matrix and we can write it like u lambda u Hermitian. Now, and r equals 1 over n x x Hermitian or for large n this is equivalent to x x Hermitian. Now, the entries of x are correlated, the entries of x are correlated, sorry not this expected value of x x Hermitian where x is a define y equals u Hermitian x each column of x by extension equals u Hermitian x. Then c equals 1 over n, define c equals 1 over n y y Hermitian equals u Hermitian x x Hermitian u equals 1 over n u Hermitian r u equals sorry 1 over n goes away 1 over n r u u Hermitian r u equals lambda or y has a diagonal covariance small y has a diagonal covariance matrix and that is the 
entries or diagonal correlation matrix and the entries of y are entries of y are orthogonal 1. So, we get uh, orthogonal entries by extension or uh, with the some amount of mathematical jugglery we can make these uh, to be independent as we can under the assumption of Gaussianity and uh, with uh, some mathematical jugglery we can make the entries of y can usually we have to subtract the mean vectors because the image is a non-zero mean loosely interpreted as uncorrelated. So, as we under some jugglery these are uncorrelated and because of this decorrelation the overall information hence the overall contained in is the sum of the information contained in its individual overall information contained in y is a, the sum of the information contained in its in individual entries. Hence, the overall information. So, now since y consists of uncorrelated entries, the majority of information majority of information of y is contained in the entries tending to large since the eigenvalues correspond to the variances of the entries of y. So, so this and the mostly most of the information is contained within the largest eigenvalue. So, we can try to represent this image via representing the k strongest eigenvalues or via the k strongest modes. So, let us do that now. Let us try to represent image via the k strongest. Let us try to represent the image via the k strongest mode. So, let me take k equals 4 for now. So, saying that k equals 4 and let me say u comma l equals eigen. Fine. So, now let us try to represent this image via the k strongest mode. So, this so, in trying to represent this image by the k strongest modes or the corresponding to the k strongest eigenvalues, what I do is I say that u s u strongest is nothing but u. So, you will have l square entries l square minus k to l square y equals mission times x run this and uh, immediately get an error because the dimensions of oh l so i should make this lambda sorry yes and double us is 5 times 64 so this is incorrect this yeah so i get y as this and now if i say i generate c equals oh, I, 
this there should be a multiplication sign I see I can read this and C 10 to the power 7 10 to the power 7 10 to the power 9 so yeah this and run this and see I get is so C has a structure has the kind of structure that I predicted so now what I can do is let us try to recover so instead of x I can try to recover the image from y. Instead of x, I can try to recover the image from y. The only caveat here is that I should take the four largest eigenvalues, not the five. So this should be k plus one. And run again and done. C is four cross four and ten to power six, ten to power. 3 10 to power 3 so let me try to recover the image from y so in order to recover the image from y let me say that x hat equals x hat equals us times y and we get x hat with entries and uh, because it has to be stored as integers I will typecast it to integers yes I will x a hat I will typecast it to this and let us see what happens or it should be x hat only why not why x a hat say hat I delete so, x hat I have generated and uh, that is the image so bg2 so as usual so I get a slightly pixelated version of the original image you can see here I get a pixelated version of the original image is it uh, good let us compare it against the original image so let me close this and so this is the original image and now broken into 8 by 8 blocks now let me say I take k equals 1 I take the largest eigenvalue I take just the largest eigenvalue nothing else and in the end I use figure and I show bg2 and run this so this first figure corresponds to the original image this second figure corresponds to the image that is produced just using the largest eigenvalue you can naturally see that uh, while we do not get the image exactly we get uh, something that roughly looks like the image so there is something uh, interesting about this so let us say that now we use two largest eigenvalues when we use two largest eigenvalues what we get is this so one two and three figure one figure two so this is the original image this is when I use the largest eigenvalue and this is figure 3 and let me use four largest eigenvalues and run this 
this again pixelated but so a lot better so this takes the four largest eigen values this when i take the eight largest eigen values this you can see is almost as good as the original image if i keep the two images side by side if i keep figure 1 and figure that is the original image and the image reconstructed using eight largest eigen values side by side i do not see a noticeable difference so see the image using eight largest eigen vectors of the instead of all the 64 entries so we can save the image in terms of its eight largest eigen vectors instead of all the entries and while doing this this we are taking the principal principal components of the image this is called principal component analysis so this idea of uh, using just the strongest eigen modes or the strongest eigen vectors to store the image is known as principal component analysis so let us now since we are interested in so images there is the idea of peak signal to noise ratio but uh, we won't uh, use that instead let us see in a mean squared error sense how does the choice of k or how does the choice of uh, these eigen values affect the signal to no the mean squared error in the reconstructed image so for that let for k be 1 to 16 and i'll run this loop for each of these case and and what i do is bg minus bg 2 double double bg error equals this and the error equals the absolute value of this and msc k equals mean mean error this is the mean squared value of the error so i'll run this quickly this will run for different values of k and so msc is so so this is mean squared error do wonder i wonder why is it so large oh, mean squared fine because of this so so mean squared error decreases and now let me take it to 64 all the values this will take some time to run this gives me the exact image so now if i plot mean squared error i see that the mean squared error dips to 0 at around 63 which is the right thing that uh, or in the last case it will be exactly 0 because we are using all the information available to reconstruct the image so this is about principal component analysis and naturally 
if we can now reconstruct the image using only a subset of its eigenvectors, we can uh, instead of quantizing all the pixels individually, we can quantize just those corresponding or just the pixels corresponding to the principal components and we can get away with it and naturally that uh, leads to compression. So that is all for this lecture, we will continue with image compression in the next lecture, thank you.